Hey, I'm Randy Vance for Boating Magazine. I'm at Bull Shoals Lake in Arkansas with the folks at Ranger Boats, and I'm on their brand new 1880 MS. Now, this is a multi-species boat that's got some really hardcore fishing features in it, whether you're gonna fish bass or walleye in the north, even some of the Great Lakes salmon fishing they're doing out there, this boat's set up for it, and it's got plenty of family cruising features, too. I'm gonna walk you through this boat right after you take a look at the results of our performance testing from earlier today. Our test boat was equipped with an Evinrude G2 150 horsepower outboard motor. Our test prop was a Rebel 19 inch pitch three blade stainless steel. We had a test load of 400 pounds of passengers and 30 gallons of fuel. We reached a top speed of 48.3 miles per hour at 6,000 RPM. Our time to plane was 3.6 seconds and our time to 30 miles per hour was 7.7 .7 seconds. Our most economical cruise speed was 30.7 miles per hour at 4,000 RPM, burning 6.4 gallons of fuel per hour. This 1880 MS is equipped with a Hook 5. That's standard, but there's room for up to a 12-inch screen up there as well. I like the fact that we've got a Minn Kota Tarova motor up here. That's got the electronic foot pedal that's really easy to operate. You can also see that you've got an easy switching for your trim and other things that you'd like to operate while you're at the bow of the boat. There's easy access to the trolling motor batteries underneath the rod locker. Now you've got a roomy cockpit and a great aft casting deck. There's tool storage at the bottom. You've got your live well in the center here. Both of these seats flip up. There's four rod holders right here, which are ideal for either storing rods at the ready or for trolling. Now this boat can be equipped with an optional kicker motor on the port side of the transom. Underneath the starboard seat, you've got access to your starting battery and your breakers. There's even a reboarding ladder for safety and for water sports. There's even more rod storage under the port side gunnel in this dedicated rod hanger here. Tackle storage under the port side gunnel includes space for these tackle boxes. You've also got handy cup holders and compartments for mobile phones. One thing that's nice about the boat is the way the grab rails are positioned throughout the cockpit for a secure ride. Finally, on the aft casting platform, you've got a pedestal socket for a fishing chair and a mounting socket for the optional tow pylon. Forward, you've got another socket for the front end. At the base of each aft seat, there's a cup holder plus tool storage. Now, one of the best things about the 1880 MS is that when you're done fishing and you're ready to just have some fun cruising with your family, there's plenty of comfortable seating for everybody on board. Another great feature is you've got a full beam-to-beam -beam windshield to protect the cockpit from cooler weather. I'm Randy Vance for Boating Magazine, and this is Ranger's 1880 MS.